You are a coward. Yeah. You are a coward, so you have right. Give Get out of my house. If you want. Listen to me. Listen to me. I never said I will marry a prostitute Get like me. you. I never said I will marry a prostitute like you. You think I am blind to all your immoral activities and your group talking all around the city? You think I don't know? Take your pregnancy. Take your pregnancy to any of your boyfriends. You fool! You promise you will marry me? Is that what you said? Is that what you said? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! You can't give me shot! Take your pregnancy away! Get out! Get out! Get out! You love me. I don't love you. I don't love you. Get out. I don't love you. and drink. Take it. You need to take your bath now, you know. Okay. Yeah. Kenny gave me his word. I'm backed out. He, he beat me up and pushed me out of his apartment. Too bad. Denied a pregnancy after all the promises he has given to me. So, what do you intend doing now? I refuse to be tied up. It's just two months' pregnancy. I will clear it up. But he will surely regret this. Stella. Stella. Are you okay? Stella. Are you alright? You won't talk to me, okay? Are you alright? Talk to me, Stella. Stella. How are you feeling now? Where am I? You're in the hospital. You screamed, collapsed, and fainted in the afternoon. So we rushed you down to the hospital in the afternoon. How is it now? Okay. So 
Okay. You'll be fine. No, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. my chest. Oh. I'm coming. Okay, sorry. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. my. Are you a friend? Yes, doctor, I am. Come to my office. We need to talk. All right. Doctor, she is. Uh, you live together or you are just co-tenants? We live together in the same flat. Why do you ask? Well, um, are you students or do you work? We work. Well, I'm sorry for all these questions, but uh, what kind of work do you do? I'm sorry if this Brooding questions are unsettling your mind. But my staff found this sachet of pills on her table when they entered her room to bring her out. Do you know what these drugs are meant for? Have you ever seen these drugs with her before? Well, being a friend, I will have to tell you whatever information that needs to pass across concerning her situation. She has just aborted a two months old pregnancy. In fact, she was lucky to be alive. It was those drugs that she took that went into complications. That was why she fainted. When we took her to the theater and opened her up, her situation was pathetic. Please, doctor. Tell me, please, what's the situation like now, please? Well, we discovered that she had had three or four evacuations in her womb in the past. The last abortion she committed seriously damaged her womb. Doctor, what could that mean? Well, she may never be able to conceive again. This is not what I planned. I never desired this for my life. How could I could have sacrificed my future. For a little pleasure of the present. I never meant this. I never intended to live my life this way. Oh God. It's okay. Stella, how are you feeling? You're crying? Stella, it is true. You mean, I've got no chance again. Not a single chance again. Stella, medically and naturally, not a single chance. The womb had been seriously damaged that was why we had to cut it off. <laughs> Stella, 
Tell me, why did you go into this? I had to go into prostitution because I had no choice. I thought that was the best for me. That was the best thing I could do to cater for myself and my studies throughout the university. Why? What about your parents? I have no parents. Who? Oh, they are dead? No. Living, but dead. What do you mean? If they were really living, I wouldn't have gone into prostitution. They pushed me into this. They ruined my life. How? Talk to me. My parents were separated since when I was in senior secondary school. My mom packed out of the house. My dad brought in another woman. The new wife was so outside to my two younger brother and hi. My mom had no steady job. So, my two brothers asked to cross over to Lokoja to live with one of our uncles and continue the education there. I couldn't change school because I was already in senior secondary school too. I had to live with my mom and struggle out to finish my senior secondary school education. Fortunately, I got admission into University of Port Harcourt here. There was no way my mother could finance that. So, I went again to my dad. I got an admission to the University of Potapo. Congratulations. Once I'm finished with your mom, I'm through with you all. Dad, what about my university education? It was difficult finishing through the secondary school. Mom tried her best. But financing my university education would be too big a burden for her. Too big a burden? Who paid for your work? Who paid for your jam? How did you finish your secondary school? Dad, mom did. Mm, then go back and tell her that she has not yet finished her job. She, she has been so arrogant to submit to my order and authority. Dad, I have been given admission into university to study at Techo. And you've got to help me. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Since your mother has decided to take up the responsibility, I want to see how far her arrogance will carry her. And what did he say? As usual, he said, since you've taken over the responsibilities, he wants to see how far you can go. He said he can't help. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that's what he would say. I've never seen such an irresponsible man as he. He's a fool, useless and good for nothing man. I regret ever marrying to him. Mom, that's all right. Stop insulting him. He's still your husband. He is not. He was my husband. And I regret ever marrying him. Then he's my father. Stop insulting him. You may as well regret giving back to us. I've never said that. You are still my children, right? But you regretted that our father was your husband. Yes. Yes, Stella. That's my only regret in life. Uh -uh. I alone bore the finances of your secondary school education. I paid for all your final exams, including the jams. Now for him to come in and pay for your university education, imagine the rubbish he say. Is that the man you call your father? Yes, because I don't have another father. Well, as far as I'm concerned though, I have tried. I have tried, Stella. And let me tell you, I don't think 
I can bear this your university education. So, what are you saying? Mom? All I'm saying is that forget about it. I can't help you. Anymore. Never. Don't ever tell me that. Mom, don't ever tell me that. <laughs> That remain irreconcilable. My mom maintained her arrogance and I had to move forward in life. I got some money from some friends, which was enough for my transportation fare from Lagos down to Port Harcourt here. I spent remaining money for registration and other expenses. I came far away from home without any support from home or relatives. A year two female student saw my plight and invited me to put up with her for a while. Not knowing that I was entering a mist of girls whose own background Resemble my, but I found a way out of their financial and material problems. My friend, Musa has told me everything. You see, this is my thought here on campus. And here on campus, I've learned to know that nothing, I mean, nothing is impossible for ladies who know what to do at appropriate times. Look here, Stella. My whole problem back at home is even worse than yours. My father has five wives, and my mom is in the third position. And every mother cares for their own children. But my mom has no steady job, so I'm responsible for the welfare and the schooling of my three younger ones. And Stella, let me tell you, I find it possible and even easy since I've been admitted into this campus. Really? How is that possible? It is very, very possible. All you need to do is to play your card very well. No. I became a campus prostitute right from my first year in campus. I had money. I had influence. Whatever I wanted, I got without much effort. I influenced my life throughout the campus. I got into the life of many of my lecturers, even for my youth service. I chose where I wanted. I decided to stay in Port Harcourt. Are you still serving? No, I had finished serving six months ago. I had just begun to think of settling down with my life. I had gotten a job with a construction company in Lagos. I have decided to go back home and start living a normal life. Get married, have a family and settle down. But you see my life, you see my life, my life is ruined, my womb is gone. Ah. <laughs> ah. You said you are a friend. Are you also in this? Yes, we are together. Then I suggest that you turn back from this route. As you can see, this journey has a dead end. You had desired to stop living a rough life. Go back home and live a normal life. Your intention was right, but your direction was wrong. That was why you failed. You thought you had the power to live a normal life. You thought you had the power to turn back from the way of destruction which the enemy was leading you to. 
that was where you feel. Stella, the power to change is not in man. Can a faulty car repair itself? Can a leaking roof repair itself? Only the Lord Jesus Christ, who created life, can repair a damaged life. That was the mistake you made then. That's all. One mistake too many. There is no need for any change of life. No, Stella. When a damaged life gets into his hands, he can remold it to suit his purpose again. No. A lady with a rough life. A lady with a damaged room. No. Stella, give Jesus a chance in your life. He can do all things. No, doctor. What can he do again? How can he do it? I live a life of a prostitute. I could still have married happily. But now the womb is gone. Mother. <laughs> Jesus can still do it. No! to take care of huh? I don't want you to think much of what happened to you. I think it is too late to give me that counsel. I should rather counsel you or to make a use on from that room. The journey has a dead hand. As for me, I will settle down somehow. Well, I hope you drop your address in Lagos so that we could get in touch. I've dropped my mom's address with booking. It can get me through her. I'm to resume my work in a construction company in Lagos by the beginning of next month. When I get settled, I'll get in touch.
You look so me. What happened? Mm. I wanted to ask you that question. Were you sick? Mm. You look a bit sick. Mm. Yes, Stella. And I'm just recovering. I'm a bit better now. What happened? Too much stress? Uh, not really. Anxieties, worries, and fears, you know, all those things. Mom, mm. stop all these worries and anxiety. Mm. I'm back home now. Really? I'm so happy. So you keep me company. Did you hear from Tsunde and Liki at Lokoja? No. Mm. Is there any problem with them? No, they're fine. Leke is awaiting his uh, jump results, and uh, Tunde has just finished his OND. They left yesterday. Who? Tunde and Leke. Your father sent for them. <laughs> and when they came, they slept in his house. Whose house? <laughs> Your father's house. We ate together on the same table. They discussed together far into the night before they went in to sleep. And the following day, he gave them some money. I can't believe this. Uh, you better believe it, Stella. Yeah. He said he has just had this uh, change, sudden change of life. Oh. How come about it? Change? He came and he pleaded for forgiveness of all that happened between us. He has changed? You mean he has changed? No, not only that. He came into this house begging me to forgive him of all his past. When we thought of all that had happened to us, we both worked together. Hmm. When did all this happen? Two weeks ago. And he has been here several times. He was even here this afternoon, and he sat where we are sitting now. It's a thing of joy to all of us. Are you still doubting it? Why did he have to wait till my life is ruined before changing his own way of life? Stella, look. I stand before you to do on his behalf, to plead with you to forgive your father. Don't mind all he has done to you. He is your father, you need to forgive him. What's the matter, my daughter? Nothing. Mom, nothing. Only I can't understand why he had to wait for my life to be ruined before changing his own way of life. Stella, where are you going? So far. Eh? You're taking this matter too far. They are my children, and that woman is still my wife. That is what I never wanted to hear. You never told me that when you are bringing me in. Eight years ago, when I stepped into this house, I never met any woman. All what you told me was that you sent her packing because she refused to listen to you. You said you needed a humble woman who will obey you. And I told that if I were moving with you, I wouldn't want any disrespect from any woman. Promise me. Did you promise me? I did. I did. Then why all this sudden change? Why? Things have been going on fine. There have been peace in this house. 
but you suddenly discover your your so called your so called new life. Look, I stand upon the promise you made with me. No external distraction, none whatsoever. Is my dad alright? I should think so. Can you please help me tell him that I'm around? Not necessary. When he comes down here, we know you're around. Sorry, I don't have that time. Where do you think you're going? Upstairs, of course. <laughs> I still remember where his room is. Look here, woman. My mom and dad built this house. So, you can't limit my movement. Listen, lady, I don't care. I don't care if your mama built a mansion. When I step into this house, I met no woman and no children either. For all I care is my husband built this house. And I'm living in this house with my two children. My friend, my mother last child is older than your first child. Neither your mom or her children has any record whatsoever. Oh, Stella. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening. How? When did you come back? This evening, Dad. Mom told me everything. She said you desire to see me. Yes. We need to talk. And we shall talk. Hunt, when you begin your discussions, you are your voices. My children are already asleep. through a lot of difficulties before you got out of that campus. I didn't know how you made it through because your mom told me she didn't give you much throughout your university years. I've called your brothers and apologized to them right inside this house. Make for all my past mistakes. Dad, I don't think so. <laughs> Daughter, once I was blind, but now I can see. The Lord Jesus Christ entered my life and made me a new person. I have lived a terrible past, sunk in the merry clay of life, in outer darkness, before I was graciously saved by the mercy of the Lord. Then, I realized I was moving in a wrong direction. I owe your mom, you and your brothers, my sincere apology. I'm truly sorry. Dad? During the moment you push us out of your life, when you were sunk and deep in the miracle of life. Stella, I said I am truly sorry. But you will never be able to make up for all those possible sights. I will try. I will try. I will try my best. 
best. I will try to love you, all of you, your mom, your brothers, and you. I have given your mother that assurance. You don't understand. Father, you were able to come out of your miracle of life because you are not so deep in it. But some people are completely submerged in it. You can't even see their heads. No, no, daughter, no, no, no. The Lord Jesus Christ, who drew me out of that merry clay of life, is master of our situation. And he can do all things, however deep a person is, in the mile of life. <laughs> like bringing out a needle from motion bed. Stella, don't you believe the Lord can do all things? Don't you believe he is able? Why is he so late? Ooh. Jesus, why was he so late in taking you out of the mercy of life? No, daughter. The Lord Jesus Christ is master over all <laughs> situations. He holds the key of life. See, he saved me. I'm saved at last. And he can reshape on your life. He can save you too, if you give him the chance. It is too late. Too late, Stella. What's on your mind? If he could do all things, why didn't he save my life before it was destroyed? Tell me. Why? <laughs> I know I might have affected your life. I know I might have caused a lot of problems for you. I know I might have affected your life negatively. But the Lord Jesus Christ, who drew me out of the darkness of the world, can save you too. He can amend your life if you give him the chance. Dad, I will wait to that, Dad. No, it is now. You have to give him your life now. Today is the day. The longer you delay his grace and salvation, the deeper you go in the merry play of life. Do you know how much harm your presence has caused us in this house? My mom, my brothers, and I. You would never know. But I am back. Where are you coming from? Have your seat. I went to report that the company have been asked to come and resume next week. That's nice. Dad, I'm sorry for all my behavior yesterday night. I was terribly upset. And why? I don't know. You don't know? Perhaps because of my change of life. Because of the past mistake I did when I was spiritually blind. Or because of all what I hoped to do that I did not do. Or what I hoped not to do that I did. Dad, 
That's all right. I said I was sorry. Please. Daughter, you said a lot of things yesterday. I missed your justifiable hunger. Things that were so frightening. Dad, I wasn't myself yesterday. Yeah, I know. I know. But your words were heavy ones. You said things like, why was Jesus so late? So in that case, you agree your life is not ruined after all? No, not at all. And you also know that you are not submerged in the merry clay of life as you claimed? No, I'm not. Then, Then therefore you believe that Jesus Christ uh, can save your life and it is not yet late for him to save you. No. Then when are you going to commit your life into his hand? He created it, he can mend it to suit his purpose. I will, Dad. When, if not now? I don't know, but I will. Yes, come in. Ah, oh, Richard. Sir. So, what's your finding? Yeah. The records have not been posted, sir. As a matter of fact, there are so many anomalies in the accounting records. I think we have to send for an auditor. Okay. The auditors will be here by next week. Mm, thank you very much. All right, sir. Now, Richard, sir. I'm sure you have not yet met my daughter. Oh, no. She just came from Potter Court. She read architecture. That's the princess of the home. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, too. Yeah. Richard has been a very good and dedicated staff since he joined us two months ago. He's the accountant of the company. And besides, is a very good child of God. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you once again. Thank you. Sir. So we'll send for the auditors next week. All right, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Since you left for Potter Court, you forgot oh. I told you I was giving admission to Unila. Even my service, I did it in Lagos. Really? Yes, sir. Hey, yeah. How is work? Fine. I'm working in Wells Spring Construction Company. Where is that? Uh, it's a construction company based in Ikeja. Uh -huh. It's even good to see you. Uh -huh. It's good to see you, Bella. Uh -huh. Hey, you can see you. Uh -huh. See, I've written your name on it. What's this? Invitation? Yes, I'll be getting married. It's just in two months' time. Oh, that's fine. I'm glad for you. Thank you. I hope your man is not going to take you far away from us. No, though the man is based in Potako, but he'll be crossing to Lagos immediately after our wedding. He has secured his transfer already. Besides, all these people, they are all based there in Lagos. Yeah. Like Baby, you've changed so much. Oh, hey, hey, baby. Oh. You must get give me your address. I'll collect yours too. Are you on mobile? Yes, I'll give you my card and I'll collect yours too. Okay. baby. Oh no. Yes, 
Christmas. How are you? Fine, man. And your work and family? Everything is fine, man. Uh, I asked after you from a uh, seller the other day. You have to. Nobody yes. told me you asked after me. I thought you have forgotten me. <laughs> Mommy, uh, you. is that ever possible? Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mm. Is Carol not around? She's at the back of the house, ma'am. And uh, Daddy has just arrived from the office now. I see. And he has gone into the room upstairs. Okay. Let's find Carol for me. Okay. Carol? Carol? Good afternoon, ma'am. I didn't know you were around. Uh, yes, I am. I came in not quite long ago. I learned Daddy has just arrived from the office. Mm -hmm. Not quite up to 20 minutes now. I see. Please, could you tell him I would like to see him? Are uh, you sleeping? Please wake him up. Tell him I'm around. You look disturbed again. She's around. Who? The person you have been expecting, of course. Who? I was wondering why you arrived so early from the office today. I never knew you freeze the meeting. What are you talking about? <laughs> you should have come to see the way she gave me order. Go and wake him up. And tell him that I'm around. Nonsense. Where do you think you are going? Where do you think you are going? You said somebody is waiting for me downstairs. And you refuse to tell me who the person is. Then let me go and see the person. You won't go. You not now. You can't go. You won't even go. Mm -hmm. Yes, who is that? <laughs> Mommy is waiting for daddy downstairs. Patricia, what is wrong with you? So she's the one you have been talking about since? Mm -hmm. Come? Yes. I was told you were sleeping. Sorry for waking you up. I was not actually sleeping. You didn't tell me you would come this afternoon. I will have asked the driver to come and pick you up. Well, next time. But first and foremost, thanks for... Thanks for the money you sent to me through Stella. <laughs> Will I ever be able to pay for my past mistakes? Yeah, which mistakes? Let's forget. We all have past mistakes. Let's forget about the past. Where is this girl? What is it? Wait. Caro? Caroline! I want to. I want her to prepare something for you to eat. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not eating. I, I, I've eaten before leaving. Ah, you eat again. You eat. Oh, see, prepare something. Rice, anything. Okay, sir. Prepare something. Okay, sir. Thank you. 
I'm planning to get a shop and uh, use the money to store some goods. That's good. You've got in a shop? Yes, I, I have one. And I've paid for two years. And uh, the rest of the money, I will use it to store goods. Some goods? What type of goods do you want to stock? Mm, provisions, beverages, household utensils, and then I confessionaries. Know. No. no. <laughs> That's not good enough. I don't like that. <laughs> you eat everything. I don't like that. How about textile? Textiles? <laughs> That's a lot of money. We will we'll, we'll make it work. Let's try textile. It will work. All right. <laughs> mm. What is it again? Mm, Stella, I'm disturbed about her attitudes. What's this? She had kept on repeating that whatever happened to her on the campus had been my fault. Mm, I had uh, three days prayer and fasting for her. After the third night, she came up with a shocking, you know, confession that, you know, really troubled me. What did she say? She said she aborted a pregnancy for a man she loved, but that the man refused the pregnancy. No wonder she was angry with me. I spoke with her about the love of God, that no matter what her past may be, Jesus Christ is able to fix her up again. That was good word you spoke to her. But I'm shocked about her next response. What did she say again? <laughs> well, she said, why did we have to wait till her life got ruined before we changed? She said that to me too. I don't know what else to do about her. That's what my negligence has caused her. It's all my fault. It's all our fault. Don't let us brood over our past mistakes. Let's think of what to do next. I talked with her. I preached to her. I assured her that all will be well. But in response, she snarled back at me and said, She's never sure I will be able to make up for my past mistake. It was so disheartening. Though the second day she came to my office and apologized for saying those words. Mm, we'll try more and pray more for her. Food is ready, sir. Thank you. Let's go to the table. Thank you. I wouldn't want you to be unreasonably infatuated with Richards. You still need to pray more about her and research more into a personal Christian life. <sighs> her father is my boss in the office. He's a nice and God-fearing man. He knows the Lord. Recently, I got to know her mother, too. She also knows the Lord. Don Richards. Don Richards, you are talking like a child in faith. We are not talking about her parents now. We are talking about her, her life, her spiritual commitment. Are you sure she's born again? That's what matters. All right, sir. I'll pray about her. Not praying alone. Not praying alone, Don Richards. Patiently try to know our spiritual commitment and faith. All right, sir. I will, sir. 
Okay. Why are you doing this to me, Patricia? Why? Haven't I satisfied you? I settled you, I opened up a salon for you, I filled it up with equipment, I, in addition to giving you some amount of money every month, I care for your children, I pay for their school. Shut up! Will you shut up and stop recounting your legal and moral responsibility? If you don't do it, who else will have done it? And then why all the hosts? Why all the hosts? You, brought, you brought in the problem, the lack of. You caused the whole thing the women to allow that woman to step into this house. That woman, that woman is my wife. We built up everything in my life together. I married her legally and traditionally. I married her true and true. When we were suffering at the foundation, where were you? When we were laboring at the beginning, where were you? Where? Where? And when you were taking me to club at night, where was she? When you always come to my mother's house to pick me to night parties and clubs, where was she? When you were making me promises of an uninterrupted love and affection, where was she? And by the way, when I stepped into this house, I met no woman. Listen, Dolapo. You have said the honest names. That woman, that woman, she is my wife. She was your wife, agreed. She was your wife, but she has gone and gone for good. She will never live in this house. I vow with my life. You can open up a shop for her. Feel a shop with the whole world. But she will not live in this house. She's my wife. And warn her. I cannot tolerate an African visit into this house. I can manage just once a week. Go and tell her. She's my wife. Tell her once a week. Stella de Lapo, please. Okay. Just wait on time. Thanks. Miss de Lapo, somebody's looking for you. And who is that? One young man like this or so. I can come in. Okay, you can come in. Thanks. Wow. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Sit down. Thank you. Any message from Dad? Not really. I was just driving by, so I branched to say hello. You did not come to our office throughout this week. Oh, well, walks, walks, walks. I've been going to the site since Monday. I was only asked to stay back today. Um, our company is building a new complex somewhere in Shangisha. How is that? It's fine. He traveled to Abuja this morning by first flight. Mm. He has a meeting at the NMPC headquarters. Where is he coming back? Today. He should be back latest 4 p.m. How's your work? Fine. It has been so hectic. Going to site every day since Monday. When do you close? Do you have time for church at all? Church? Yeah. Or don't you go to church? I do, of course. I do. What church do you attend? Same church like that, Mom? Mm, not really. Do I need to attend the same church with Dad and Mom? Do mm. I? Not really. But I was wondering if you were a child of God. Yes, of course. I am. A child of God. Born again? Absolutely. 
Then why are you asking me all those questions? Just wanted to know. Since you came back from Patakot, you've not been attending any church. Why? Well, I don't need to attend the same church with Dad and Mom. Um, I'm, I'm like trying to fix myself up in a real evangelical church where the real word of God is being preached. Wonderful! Splendid! Ah. Then you should try my church. My pastor will be very excited to meet with you. Shall I expect you this Sunday? I don't know. I don't want to. Pre I don't want to make a promise now. All right. I'll give you a call to know your conclusion. I may even come and pick you if you are willing to go. Well, I'll tell you when you call on Friday. All right. Going? I wouldn't want to take much of the time. Please, what's the number? Okay, Oh, thanks. All right. You get my own number when I call. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Yeah, it's my favorite. children and your husband? My children are fine. But my husband has changed. How? That woman is trying to come back. What? His first wife? Yes, Mama. <laughs> she came to our house yesterday afternoon. In fact, he had already arrived earlier to wait for her. You mean she came to that house? Yes, Mama. And they had a long discussion together. And later, they sat together at the dining table and ate together. What? <laughs> they ate together? Mama. He's even planning to open up a shop for her and stock it up for her. Mama, <laughs> that woman is trying to come back. No. No. No, 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 no. Ah. She will not come back to that house. She won't. Oh. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Welcome, mommy. Hello, city. How was the show? Excellent. Ah, you know what? I've been considered one of the major distributors in West African textile company. Hmm. I doubt if your father was in the office today. He personally handled all the papers and the bank drafts. Ah, we both went to the shop. When we got there, the painters had already finished and the carpenters are busy working on the show glasses. Wow. Hey, yeah. Stella. Yes, ma'am. What's the matter? Aren't you happy for me? Mom, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy that Daddy is doing all these things for you. But when are you going back to that house? Oh, are you contented living out outside your home? Mmm, Stella, I'm glad you are burdened for me. You see, well, I've been thinking about it, and your father even made mention of it this afternoon, but because I'm still praying, I just brushed it aside. Why? <sighs> that woman, Patricia, I can't live without. Then she has to go. 
<laughs> you see, we shouldn't do anything rashly. We've got to be patient. She roams about in that house with her two children. Remember, they are your father's children, too. Stella, you have to be calm with this situation. I love to go back to that house, too. But there's the need for us to handle the situation with patience and wisdom. All right, Mom. Good. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Stella. Yes, Mommy. Since you came from Paracord, you've not been going to church. I'll go. I'll be going on Sunday. Ah. And you are coming with me? No. So which church are you going? A friend of mine is coming to pick me up to his church. A friend? His church? A male friend? Mom, don't get excited. He's just a friend. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Nevertheless, I would like you to come and meet our pastor. He loves meeting newcomers. Come on, let's go. Good morning, sir. Ah, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you sir. And uh, this is Sister Stella Dolapo. Mm -hmm. She just came to our church today for the first time. Wow. wow. And I thought it would be good for her to greet you before she goes. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, God yeah. bless you, sister. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I was a service. Were you blessed? Yes, sir. I was tremendously blessed, sir. Oh, that's fine. That's great. Um, or do you now desire to be coming to our church? Mm, yes. I think I'm satisfied coming here. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, which church were you attending before? Since I came back from Portacourt, I have not been attending any church. Mm. I've been waiting patiently to know the right church to go. I wanted a church where I could be spiritually blessed. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but in Portacourt, uh, were you a member of a church? Mm, yes. Uh, I was the prayer secretary for the Christian Union campus. Oh, that's good. That's fine. Uh, you're welcome to our midst. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, hello? Huh? How was the church today? Fine. You need to introduce me to his pastor. Ah, uh ah. -uh. So soon. Just a normal thing for every newcomer. Oh, I see. Mom, what are you thinking? Nothing. Nothing. Mom. Just to let you know that I've gone through this way before. Ah, <laughs> Mom, Mom. Don't go too far. Yeah. This man never meant beyond friendship. Yes, I know. Yes. Oh, Richard. Oh, thank you very much. 
That was a very lovely Sunday service. Thank you. Tomorrow, in my office. Okay. Bye. Good night. <clears throat> That's him. Mm. And what did he say? He said he will come and see me in my office tomorrow. Where does he work? In that office. Mm. Really? He's a company's accountant. Mm. Stella. Yes, Mommy. You look so lovely this evening. And I love it. Anything that makes you happy, I go for it. In case this man proposes to you and you feel you can live the rest of your life with him, please don't hesitate. All right? <laughs> Why are you so much in a hurry, Baritas? When it comes to the matter of marital choice, patience is never too much, brother. But, sir, I was thinking I've been patient enough. Because after my first degree at the University of Benin, I traveled overseas to do my master's degree for two years. When I came back, I prepared for my professional exams for one and a half years. After which, I worked for another one and a half years. Pastor, my parents are getting impatient. That's not withstanding, Boris. What you want to do is not proper. I mean, how can you say you will propose to a lady you have not known so well? And you said you've told her you will see her tomorrow? Yes, sir. I called her this evening before coming here. Baritas, you have been too hasty about this matter. You must not propose to her yet. You must be patient. So many things you have to find out. Her spiritual life, her faith, her commitment to the Lord, her backgrounds in addition to prayers, all right, sir. I'll pray more about her, sir. Bro Richards, be very, very patient. Okay, sir. All right, God bless you. Amen, Amen sir. Am I so unfortunate? If he proposes to me, will I ever be able to tell him about my past? Will I ever be able to tell him and confess that I have lived a rough life on campus? Will I ever be able to tell him about the abortion? Then, then, the worst. <laughs> we will marry a lady without a womb. Oh, God.
We can't spend a long time here. I know. You called me yesterday evening that you would like to see me today. That's why I brought you here. To entertain me. That's just one point. The other thing is that I'd like to ask you some questions. Questions? If I can have answer to them. I know you have answers to all the questions. Well, let's hear them. Um, uh, um, actually, it's a simple question. I would just like to know, when are you getting married? Married? <laughs> Is that one of your questions? Just one of them. I'm not thinking about marriage yet. Really? But why? 
Is the man not hurrying you up? Who? I mean the man in your life. I mean who? Uh, I'm sorry, Stella. Pardon me for wrong assumptions. No. I just wanted to know if you know the man. No. I was asking you. All right. No man is hurrying me up yet. Hmm. No wonder you feel so relaxed. What about you? Are you hurrying someone up? Me? Not really. My pastor said I should be very patient. So I'm still waiting to know whom I will hurry up. Okay. Question two. Uh, you said we couldn't spend a long time here. Because the second question may take a longer answer. Okay. Then tomorrow. Yes, probably. Stella. Yes, mommy. You look dull again this evening. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing? I don't believe that. Did you see the man? Who? You know whom I'm asking of? I mean your friend. Yes, I did. He talked with you? Yes. Has he made any proposal to you? He, he said he's still praying to know who the person is. Then let him pray. That's what you're supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to pray and patiently wait on the Lord for the right time. You don't have to take any action before consulting the Lord. You've got to seek his face first. Hello? Hello, Stella. Oh, Richard. Thanks for the treat. Oh, that's my pleasure. Well, thanks. I said I will ask you the second question. When? Right now. You said the, the question will require a longer answer. Do you have enough credit on your phone? Stella, um, would I be asking too much from you if I ask you to be my wife? Uh, uh, Richard. Hello. Stella. The network is fading. Uh, I, I, I can't hear you very well. Hello, Stella. Are you still there? Hello. What did you say? Oh, I've actually been praying for a very long time. And I'm convinced that you are the right choice for my life. As a matter of fact, the first day I set my eyes on you, I knew you should be the right person. All right. Um, can you allow, can you allow me to, to, to pray? Oh, there's no problem about that. That's why I said the second question will take a longer time. When will you probably reply? Um, tomorrow. Stella, tomorrow? Uh, is tomorrow a longer time? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, that's very appropriate. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Good night. so deep in your thoughts that you didn't even know the time of it. Oh, God. Daughter, take my advice. If you have nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. 
tell him everything about your past. Come out clean. If he loves you, he will stay. If he does not, then he will leave. I have a tell him all. Or nothing at all. My past is worse than a doctor's. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a past. If you want to know he loves you, allow him into your past. <laughs> I don't think so. Who will buy dog faces in the market? Stop it, my friend. You are not a dog. You are not a dog, and you don't have dog faces to sell. Stella, you were pregnant for a man. He did not accept it, and then you aborted it. Haven't you asked the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you what you have done? It's your past more than what you have told me. Mom, there is nothing you need to know that I have not told you. Then, maybe it's the past of myself and your father that is still haunting you. But let me tell you, daughter, we have found the Lord Jesus Christ. We have invited him into our lives. He has forgiven us. And our past has been removed. Have you asked him to forgive your sinful love? He created your life. He can mend it back to suit his divine purpose. Stella. Yes, Mom. You can't do this alone. Your sheep is already caught in a terrible sea storm. Let Jesus stabilize this troubled life. Yes, ma'am. Please, I've informed him that you are around. Okay, ma'am. He will be out, eh? Okay, ma'am. How is your work? Fine. We thank God. You are doing fine. Ah, my younger ones, ma'am. You are doing fine. Thanks, so much. Let's go. God is faithful. Yeah. Please, have your time, eh? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Oh, Barry, Good evening, sir. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, no problem with that. Oh, please sit down, sit down. Yes, sir. Thanks, Welcome. Sir. <coughs> How's it? Just coming from the office. Okay. I've gotten a response, and it is surprisingly positive. Who? The lady, sir, Sister Stella. The one I told you about. I've proposed to her, and her response is surprisingly positive. I see. Hey, congrats. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. But I think we agree together here that you'll be patient for a while before you make your proposal. Why are you looking confused? You heard me plainly here when I told you to hold on. I expressly told you not to propose to her yet until we look more into her life and pray more about it. I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't know that was what you meant. I thought you said I should pray more before going to propose. I did just that. And I'm convinced of the leading of the Holy Spirit that this sister is the will of God for my life. She prayed very well too before giving me her response. All right. If you feel you have prayed enough, you have the right to make your own choice. It's all right. Thank you very much, sir. Ebra Richards, it is not yet too late. Courtship is not binding when you have not gone to the altar. You can still pray more about this relationship and be ready to back out when you see a wrong signal. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Good night, sir. All right, good night, sir.
This house is large enough, Patricia. It can contain you with her. She doesn't have little children. And the left wing can contain you and the children. And, and Stop your rubbish. Don't tell me that rubbish. You push me to the left wing and she will occupy here. You think I'm insane? Huh? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. You stay here while she occupies the left wing. Is that all right with you? You are dreaming. You are dreaming. Won't she still be in this house? Huh? Don't you want her in this house at, at all? all? I don't want her in this house. She can be somewhere else, but definitely not this house. <laughs> Hello? Dad? Stella, good evening. How was your work today? Oh, fine, Dad. I was on site throughout today. Oh, sorry. You must have gotten a hectic day. Yes. Uh, and, and how's your mom? Uh, she's here with me, Dad. What are you ladies doing there? What's your mommy doing? <laughs> she's eating some fruit, yeah? She needs it. <laughs> All right. Hey, like, well, yes, let me, let, me, let me talk with her. Okay, Dad. Hello. Hello. Uh -uh. <laughs> Hello. Who's up in this curtain? The man is there. Yeah. What is wrong with you, Patricia? What's wrong with you? Are you mad? You don't want her in this house and you don't want me to talk with her. What is wrong with you? You can make your discretion somewhere else, but definitely not this house. Not this house. Hello, Dad. Where are you now? Sight. And uh, how's your mom? How about the shop? Oh, everything is set. The people brought the goods yesterday. The shop is now well arranged, full of various textiles. It's so beautiful. She was so happy yesterday night. So she's in the shop right now? No, she left at 7.30 this morning. Hey, thank you for her, Dad. That's all right. Now, princess. Yes? You people are cooking something under my nose and you are keeping it away from me. But, Dad, I told you not to let you know until I give you my word. Yes, because, but he, he just came to me this morning and he told me that he asked you to marry him and that you have given him a positive answer. Yes, Dad. Is your mommy aware of this? Yes, we even talked about it. She's aware of the matter. All right. It's, it's all right, baby. Thank you, Dad. Okay, bye.
Yes, yes, it's me, Bad. Yes. Somebody just called me now. Yes, Mommy Shop has been boggled. Yes. No, they are thieves. Oh. Overnight, they did it overnight. No, they emptied the old shop. Oh, God. Okay, okay, I'm on my way home now. I'm going home, yes. there with you? Yes, she's here with me, yes. All right. Let me, let me talk with her. Oh, that won't be with you. Understands. He has solution to every problems of man. <laughs> I know. No, cheer up, right? Don't worry. Just cheer up. Hello. Hello. Dad. I was still speaking with her. Uh, She's not in the mood. All right. Can both of you come over this evening? Okay. Oh. Yes. We'll oh come say that. Yes, it did be oh bad. Bye then. I'll be waiting for you. What job? The shop, of course. Hey, madam, forget about the shop. Give us the balance. But what was in the shop is worth hundreds of thousands. You need not take any balance again. Madam, that was not the agreement. Our time is running out. We don't have all day. How much is that? The balance. Good evening. 
evening, Dad. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very sorry. Yeah. No. It's all my fault. I ought to have put all necessary security in place. <sighs> like burglar proofs, metal doors. So, don't worry. Everything. <sighs> this is the saddest day of my life. <sighs> Titi Lola. Everything. The textiles, the wristwatches, everything. <sighs> <sighs> Stop musing over all this. We are not down. We will rise up again. <coughs> we will make it again. Are you still interested in the shop? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. Then, we will make it again. But this time around, we will put all necessary security in place. Uh, thank you so much, Dad. Thank you. See, Stella, your mom deserves all what I'm doing. I hope to have done all this long before now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate this. See, thank you. Just let's pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> we thank you for all this. We praise you for what you have done. We thank you for all the incidents. You said in all things we should give thanks. Yes. And Lord, we are giving you thanks for everything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray you give solution to all our problems. Mm -hmm. And Father, Lord, we pray that you will calm all our storms. Thank you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. I have told the girl to prepare something for us to eat. So let's go in and eat. No. I'm not taking anything. No, you must take something. It's I a dinner for celebration. She hasn't eaten anything since morning. Is that? Yes. Come on, rise up. It's celebration for victory. Yes, Come on. Rise up. Thank you. <sighs> Patricia. Yes? Have you heard that mom's shop was burgled? What? Is that so? Yes. No one told me about it. It's true. They took everything and oh. left nothing. Have they informed the police? Did they catch anyone? Not yet. They said they are still investigating. Sorry. Thank you. Don't worry. The Lord will do it again. He is able to do more than what the enemy has stolen. Oh, God. Oh, what a beautiful. 
Where's your husband? It's fine, and he's in. Okay, baby. Honey? Honey? She's here. My friend is here. So what can I offer you? I can't take anything. Then you're going to drink something? Juice, apple, orange. Which one? Anyone. Okay, I'm coming. the matter. We need to talk. <sighs> and couldn't you have told me before I come to stay? Because we are busy with your guest. My guest? <laughs> that woman is my wife. And that lady is my daughter, my very first child, the princess of the house. What do you want to do about my shop? I will do whatever the Lord lays upon my heart. Don't I have the right to know what my husband intends to do? When, when I open for you, the shop and the beauty salon. Did I, did I consult anyone? Did I? You open up a shop for her. Misfortune befell her. Is that not a sign for you to stop wasting your money? No. No. 
It's just a sign for me to pay back what I owe her and her children. Hundreds of thousands worth of goods were carted away overnight. And she wasn't even moved. All she could do with her daughter was to come in and have a sumptuous dinner. Hmm? <laughs> that was what she chose to do. Do you have any problem with that? I was just wondering if you have not been duped. Couldn't she have arranged for the goods to be stolen? Because she knew you fill it up again. <laughs> Is it possible for someone to steal her own money? <laughs> Whatever money I spend for her now, she has worked for it. And for your information, Patricia, I have never found that woman to be unfaithful to me. Only I didn't know why we had to break up at first. But I still believe in her. And I trust her. And please, I will not mind you closing my door. You just bump into my schedule to tell me that you want the church to help you conduct your wedding in September. But, sir, September is still about three and a half months away. Well, that notice is too short for this church, Brother Richards. Why the rush? <laughs> All right, sir. About how many months' notice do you think we can give the church to help conduct the wedding? My brother. I implore you to be patient for at, at least, least nine months before you conduct your wedding. Nine months? But, sir, that can't be possible. I mean, that's too long. What's actually going on? You mean nine months is too long for you to wait? Don't you know you need time to pray over this relationship before you finally seal it at your time? I've been praying for a very long time, sir. And I'm convinced of the leading of the Holy Spirit that this sister is the will of God for my life. All right, Brother Richards. All right. Since you said you are being led by the Holy Spirit to marry her, well, I have no comments or arguments on the matter again. You may go ahead according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. However, this church will be able to conduct the solemnization in exactly nine months' time. But that's too long, sir. Well, that's my decision as the pastor of this church. Okay? <laughs> um, all right, sir. All right, sir. I've, I've heard what you said, sir. That's good, then. Eh? Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Bye. -bye. Oh. <laughs> 
fine and it's in. Okay, baby. Honey? Honey? She's here. My friend is here. So what can I offer you? I can't take anything. Then you're going to drink something? Juice, apple, orange. Which one? Anyone. Okay, I'm coming. Stella, that's my husband. I'm trying to remember where I've seen the face before. Me too. I just stood here wondering if we've met before. Here, Mr. That's Mr. Kenisola Vanrele. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. That's the name. I'm trying to remember where I've seen the face before. Uh, actually, I... I schooled in Lagos. I did my primary, secondary. You should be in Port Harcourt. Stella was in the University of Port Harcourt, and you two worked in Port Harcourt. I'm sure both of you met in Port Harcourt. Is that so? You once worked in Port Harcourt? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I just got my transfer back to Lagos recently. Wonderful. We must have met in Port Harcourt. But where exactly have we met before? So how's work? Fine. I just came back to Lagos three months ago after serving in the hand of one useless man. What did the man do to you? He cheated me. It was a horrible path. I don't wish to set my heart on him again. He cheated you? How? I tried to put the oath in the air on my back. Hmm. Hey, uh, sorry. Sorry. I'm going like this. Ah, so soon. What's the matter, Stella? You suddenly turned dull. I don't know. I just begin to start feeling feverish. I think I need some rest. Thank you. Thanks for the visit. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Uh, thanks for coming. Tell me why. If you know why. to settle down after ruining my life the idiot that idiot he think he can settle down and enjoy his life after leaving me to live in emotional trauma all my life he cheated me he got married to my friend he made me abort a pregnancy. He disowned me. He beat me up and pushed me out of his house. Ah! <laughs> if he says anything stupid or funny, I will smash his head. That will never be good for cooking, not frying. You, Stella. Kenny, let me say you are not a dick in a church. Which church could have been so blind to your past atrocities? You are producing me a pity. And you didn't reject their ordination. Kenny! See Stella, that's why I've come. I, I've come to apologize for all the evils I did. I I, I, I came to beg you. I I I want to say I'm sorry. 
Please forgive me and, and, and save my home. Kenny, the issue still remains unresolved until you claim the responsibility for that pregnancy I aborted. Until that happens, consider your home harboring fire. Ah, Stella, please, don't do that kind of thing to me. Please, please, I know I have offended you, but I'm, I am pleading, I'm asking you to save my home. Kenny, who was responsible for that pregnancy you make me abort? I was. Good. How about telling Lady about this? Ah, ah, Stella, you will do no such thing. You will do no such thing, Stella. Please don't do that. Eh? If you dare me, I will do it. He that is down need not fear any fall. Okay, wait here. Yes, what you just said, write it down. What? The pregnancy that you are responsible for, write it down. Ah, Stella, Stella. Did you hear what I just said? Write it down. You want to use it to attack my home? Kenny, that's the deal. Write it down, and I'll keep quiet over this issue. written it. One more thing. Ah, what again, Stella? What again? Your signature. Ah. Oh, Stella, what do you want to do with my signature? Sign the paper. But you promise you'll keep quiet over this. I want your signature on the paper. It's a deal. suddenly began to feel feverish. You didn't offend me in any way. Okay. And I is your husband. It's fine. We are all fine. Is it there? Can I just say hi? No, he just entered my... He said he wanted to get some drugs at the chemist. Mm. He said he wants to get some drugs at the chemist. Yes. When next shall we see Stella? We didn't have enough time to Okay. We will see soon. And when he comes back, help me say hello to him. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye. <sighs> You've married an innocent girl. Who will believe everything you tell her? Do you even believe that you went to the chemist? Stella, Stella, don't judge me. Using my past behaviors, I've changed. Kenny, changed? <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Let me say you are now a deacon in a church. Kenny. I was a strong, born again Christian before I left Lagos for Port Harcourt. It was when I was in Port Harcourt that I got entangled with the things of the world and got carried away by the liberty of the city. I backslid terribly. And it was during that period of my backsliding that I met you. I got restored and uh, returned to Christ not long after I left Port Harcourt. 
when I realized that I was, I was moving very fast into utter darkness. So, you must leave to come back and ruin my life. How can we crawl back to Jesus again? Eh? Hey? No, Stella. It wasn't like that. It was a genuine repentance with a broken and contrite spirit. I, I said, I'm truly sorry for all leave I Leave my house. Kenny, leave my house. Stella, are you sending me out of your house? Hello, like this. <sighs> Hello. I wrote a letter of confession and she took my signature. What would she do with that undertaking? Ah! Why have I allowed the devil to cheat me? I left Lagos for Portacot as a fervent and vibrant child of God, already leading a cell group in the church. I got to the city and entangled myself in the web of bad and worldly friends. I backslid within six months and crawled into a horrible life. After three years, I came back to my senses. I ran back to Christ, but alas, alas, the seed of evil had been sown and the germination had begun. Oh no. Oh no. How could I? How could I have known that the lady who was my girlfriend for six months, sleeping in my flat, cooking my food, will cross my path again one day. Hey! I met again. Ani? Ani, what are you doing here at this time of the night? Oh, sorry. No, 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 no problem. Uh, I was just trying to have some time of meditation here. Actually, I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. I was just having... Yeah, but don't worry. I'll get to right. I'll join you very soon, okay? Don't worry. Go. I 
disgrace this horrible past to her. She knew me as a fervent child of God before I left for Potakot. How do I explain to her? How do I explain to her that I went back into the world at a point in time and, and later got restored and, and oh my God. Ah, ah, I'm in trouble. Ah. You've not been hitting anything again in this house. You've suddenly changed since your daughter and her mom have begun to step into this house. Because I'm not happy about your attitude towards them. You must remember that I have three children and a wife before you step into this house. But you hate them. You don't want to see them. My two boys have been living far away from me and my daughter had just arrived after a long time. But you hate them. And my wife, but I'm your wife too. And I have two children too. And besides, when you brought me to this house, I never met any woman. But why do you have to go over this word again and again? You knew I had a wife. You knew I had children. You saw their pictures on the wall. Were you not the one who removed their pictures from the wall? So why do you have to go over these pretentious words again and again? All right. Sorry. We need to talk. My time is running out. When I come back, we will talk. We need to talk now. About what? I need some money. I need some money to buy uh, hairdressing and facial treatment equipment into my beauty shop. You need some money again? After the money I've spent upon that shop, I would not have asked for your assistance if I had not needed the equipment badly. I am not ready to spend any money again. After spending that huge amount of money to set that shop up. Who hmm. wants to claim to have spent on my shop? It's not up to one thought of what to spend on a, on a textile shop. And the shop was broken and the hand set started away. And yet I've just heard that you stopped the, 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 the shop with new items again. Yes. Because the shop was broken and it was emptied. Do you want that to sit in an empty shop? No, no. But you can't be doing much for her while you've done very little for me. It's not fair. Uh -uh. See, you must remember that that woman is my wife. And I have right to spend as much as I like upon her. Don't forget that. just coming from the marriage registry and I've already booked down the date. I was asked to come back after 21 days. Stella, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just a change of mood. I've also been to our pastor's place just to tell him that we have chosen a date. What did he say? Well, he just nodded his head and simply said, that's all right. So, he has agreed to conduct the wedding in the church? No. He still insisted that he will not involve the church because the date is too close. Stella, I have an idea. Tell me about it. Why don't you ask your dad to get his pastor if he will be willing to conduct the wedding for us? Well, that's an idea. I'll tell him. 
Yesterday evening, mommy was still not so happy about the date. She said it's too close. Well, as for me, when I phoned my own people to inform them about the wedding, they were all very excited because they had long been expecting this before now. It depends on you, Stella. What do you think? Do you think the date is too close, just two months away? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Where? Yes, coming. Yeah, good afternoon, Stella. I'm sorry to just post on you. Oh, this is Mr. Kenny Salaobanrile. He's the quality control manager of SSC Botany Company. And um, this is Mr. Richard Olakbe. Hello. Pleased yeah. to meet you, sir. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. The accountant, Roland, engineering consultant. And this is pretty Stella Dolapo. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. She as a matter of fact, we are getting married. Ah, wow, that's splendid. She didn't tell me. Uh, so, uh, when will I be? Um, Very soon. Soon. We will tell you the date soon. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I'll be on my way now. All right. Yeah, I'll be on my way. Ah, so soon? No, I, you see, actually, I was just, uh, I just, I was just, uh, <laughs> I just came to see some, some guys in the, in the drawing room next door. So I just said, let me pop in to just say hello to, to her. All right. uh, so, all right. right. That's all right. Have a nice day. All right, so see you. Yeah. You talk too much. Uh, uh, no. Uh, my words were few. Or don't you want me to tell people we are getting married? Not really. But you don't know him before. And you open up like that. Since those we know and those we don't know will all eventually come to the wedding. Ah. Stella, let me be on my way now. I'll see you in the evening at two, okay? All right. Have a nice day. I was the one that was trying to call you. What have you come to do in my office? Or why are you trailing me about? Why? Stella, Stella. Stella, I said I'm sorry. I'm said I, 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 I said I'm sorry. Please. Uh, anyway, I didn't know I was going to meet your fancy here. How could I have known? All the same, I'm glad you're getting married. Shut up and don't congratulate. Step out of my life completely. It's true, your wife was my friend. I don't need to come to your house to see her. And you, don't come to my house or office. Okay, good. It's, 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 that, 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 that's, that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. My wife is your friend. Please, I beg you, don't ever let my wife know that there was this kind of relationship between me and you in the past. Please, I beg you, don't let her know. I won't do such a thing. I respect the sanctity of a home. On one condition, that you won't cross my path. How? Anyhow. Now, leave. I've got some urgent work to do. Oh, Stella, what do you intend doing with the undertaking and my signature you collected. What do you want to do with it? Am I under any oath to tell you what I'm going to do with a document in my possession? I'm sorry, I was just asking. But Stella, why? Why are you so hard on me? I've said it. I said I'm sorry. I said you should forgive me. Forgive, forgive me. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Under my foot. I've never in my life lost anybody. I stay in your house for so many months. I cook your food. You promise me you will settle down with me. 
You threw me out and rejected that thing. Now, you are happily married. I sat down with one of my cold friends. Now leave. I got some work to do. Leave. Leave. This is a friend. A friend? Whose friend? Your friend, of course. But I don't know who he's talking, please. Do you remember the three wise men? Yes. What, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Do you also remember you have an agreement with us? What else do you want? I gave you a job to do. And you have finished the job. And I've finished paying you your charges. What else do you want? <laughs> that is a mistake. No one escapes completely from us. What do you mean? Eh? What do you mean? Meet us at the UUA venue. 7.30. No third party. No interference. Sit down. I'm not sitting down. I mean, why do you have to invite me here again? You have finished the job I gave you. And I've finished paying your charges. Business is closed between us. Uh, doing business with us is not as easy as you think. Our deal with you is still as fresh and open. What do you mean by that? <sighs> Madam, this is the report of your blood test. Thank you, Doctor. But I'm afraid, Madam, we have a problem in this report. What's that, Doctor? <laughs> this is the paper. Please have a look. Just coming from the clinic and it has been confirmed. It has been two months. Yes, it has been confirmed. Two months. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. Oh, please go. 